viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News where we discuss news about Guyana. Today we are going to play a video with the Vice President of Guyana sending a serious message to Guyanese critics. And the reason why this message is going to Guyanese critics is because of his latest viral clip where he tried to implicate the government in corruption. You need to see this video and signal all Guyanese critics is going to know jail time is coming. Yes, this is a serious video. Then we are going to play a video with Charin Das. Yes, you heard it clear. Charin Das is exposing the government. A lot of exposing taking place in Guyana with social media. So we have a video with Charin Das who is saying something the government not going to like. You need to see this. Then the last topic, but not the least topic, is Guyanese critics finally trying to solve. Then Guyanese critics is trying to solve a huge happening with Fernandez paper shards murder on Main Street. Guyanese critics is trying to solve that. You need to see this video. There's a lot of things taking place. And we have most of them in this one video. But before we start, if you're new to Guyanese news and you want reliable content on Bias News, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get this video started. The teacher strike. Mm -hmm. I see the teacher strike as a just strike. Now, that may not be politically right to say, or politicians may want to slay me for that but so i'll tell you know. why my opinion is and if i had any say in that teachers who are trained let's assume that they get hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month salary if you don't have two teachers working with that money it is hard to maintain a family of four on today's cost of living with hundred and fifty thousand you want to set them right Give the teachers who are earning one hundred and fifty thousand a trained teacher. If you're trained with a degree, you might be getting a little bit more. But let's take the one fifty. Mm -hmm. If you're earning one hundred and fifty thousand, and my thing on that, six percent increase will not do anything. Give the teachers say look, I talk to the union. I don't know which one will say no. We will make your salary now two hundred thousand, but you're not going to get an increase or any pay raise for the next five years. At at 6%, it still will not take you to 200,000 in five years' time. Mm -hmm. So, if you give them now 200,000 and say, we're not giving you an increase in the next five years, they will have spending power, increased spending power now, continuously. Pension is the same thing. Why give me three hundred um, $3,000 a month increase, 34000 Give me 75000 80000 And I'm going to die in three or four or five years. Because how many pensioners do you have? 70, 65 collecting pension, old age. And then you don't want to give them a, an amount of money now that we have it so that they can live at least a half decent life on 75, 80,000. And tell them you're not going to get any increase for the next 10 years even. Some will die long before that. Some of us will. But make the people happy today. And that joy can be rolled right down through to another few years down the road. Oh. Before we start playing the clip with the Vice President sending this message to Guyanese critics, we are going to just take a quick respond and give our narrative concerning this teacher's strike. You just heard it what Charindas says. It seems like Charindas wants to join back APNU party because he is exposing the government and basically saying teacher's pay should raise. So, and Charin Das is a seasoned politician. We all know who is Charin Das. He was the man that made the no confident go and the no confident vote pass and topple the Granger administration. Well, that is Charin Das. And he's also taking a stand and exposing the government, PPP, and saying that teachers pay should raise like how every guy needs one teacher's pay raise. So leave your comment in the comment section and let's get on to the message that the Vice President sent to Guyanese critics. Guyanese critics need to shut him out. Can't do that. 
Remember you're a social media influencer and you're the realest thing. But when you're among these kind of billionaire and millionaire and high profile people, you need to keep your mouth closed. So guys, these critics try to expose Barra Jack Dio. Check out the video, then we are going to continue. Much of the corruption was done by certain PPP government officials. It means knowledge of the industry in the engineers estimate comes at a premium. People were paying for this information yeah. and therefore they were getting an unfair advantage. So there was a lot of corruption. Let me give you an example. So the state does advertises for a contract, they get an engineer to come up with the price. So assuming this engineer decides that it's a hundred million dollars to do the civil works, the state keeps it quietly. Officers of the state would then sell that information to private bidders. According to Jack Dio, he and his cabinet caught wind of how government officials were using the corrupt transactions and stealing billions of dollars. He pointed to this as the reason for his government changing the procurement method in Guyana. This was precisely why we changed the system. So we said, we changed the law. It says that the lowest evaluated bid, that means having fulfilled all the evaluation criteria, it must go to the lowest tender. So it doesn't matter what the engineer's estimate is any longer. It's just a guide to the project. So selling the engineer's estimate does not really help you anymore. The people basically what is taking place this video signaling that the vice president is going to tackle corruption and the reason why this video is important is because of Guyanese critics 800 million dollar waf at the bosin that he's building mm -hmm. and he's saying the vice president is saying there are some corrupt channel telling back persons contractors like critics and different contractors how much they could build on a project so that is a message and we all hear Guyanese critics have several government projects out there he just regularly say it so that is where the problem is going to occur because the investigation and the locking up and you have to declare your asset and the suku and everything is going to get involved because critics trying unknowingly to expose the government concerning them connection with Mohammed and building the fire station and they never come and commission it because they don't want the whole picture but if Mohammed had permission to build the fire station who give Mohammed them permission so that is when critics expose the government and you can't do that so there will be no more interview from Guyanese critics channel on the vice president we all know the vice president and Guyanese critics have a close relationship and his regular get interview exclusive interview so we are going to look and see if there's going to be any interview because the government is going to try and distance themselves from Guyanese critics now and if the government take away themselves from you and your main back collect like Mohammed take away themselves from you then is when the police is going to come and bangle leave your comment in the comment section then we are going to continue position should yourself to see how they can capitalize on people's feelings and when the Mohammeds find themselves in a problem is when they realize they can't use me me can't take use like I sat here and talked about the Fagundes murder and one of my people in China said, don't go there, you can't go there, you don't know that. And I had to accept that I did not know. The attack is supposed to come and say, no man, the Muhammad didn't do this. And who the fuck did it then? How the story died on? How oh, man get murdered and cameras disappear? Now, this is me just saying, I fucking ready. 
But I ain't done for start doing interviews with people and all them things now. Who got the time and the money and the resources for make a camera in front of Palm Court Stop Walk? Who got the money and the resources to get a brand new car for do a hit and then bond the car when it's done? Not poor people. Poor people think you gotta save the car. If it was a mob where they going and do a hit for a million dollars, how you gonna bond a three million dollar fucking brand new three million dollar car? Who got the money for do that? We have been denying ourselves too long. And it look like me denial come now and start giving fucking effect for my stomach. Let well, me bring it out now. Me bring it scunt out now. I want you to listen to this voice now. Big boss, no, very big boss, no, VP, you know, how much it is involved in national development. Now, them Chinese there, they're using the land there. I can get a minimum of 200,000 US a month. I don't charge them one cent. I would do the build, build a bridge for bridge the two property together, you understand? Not one cent, I ain't charge them. They're using my flat ramp, you know, I ain't charging them a cent. This is what people just do, you know what I mean? Me life is not about money, bro, you know what I mean? You understand? Yeah, and, you know, you are deliberately staying away from the man, you know, just because, you know, you, you were instructed to, you know. Now, if the Americans take away the passport of 40 fucking people as a result of association with these people, I have nothing to do. I never been a part of terrorism. I never been a part of gold smuggling. I never been... As I said before, I have never intentionally, premeditatedly, or no way, shape, or form caused anybody's life. I ain't no paragon of virtue. I ain't no nice boy. You understand? I ain't no paragon of virtue. I ain't no perfect boy. But I ain't going down certain fucking road. I ain't in that. So when I separate myself, them banner take umbrage to me protecting me integrity. Well, now they come out and trying to bring me down. Because what else would cause the Muhammad's them for go solo? The Muhammad's? The great Muhammad's writing per Facebook page about critic collect money from them and give people an island thing. What would cause them for come solo? Well, this is what caused them. Listen to it from the beginning. Tell me, are you scunt now here? I got enough more. It's very big boss, no, it's very big boss, no, VP, you know, how much it is involved in national development. Now, them Chinese there, they're using the land there. I can get a minimum of 200,000 US a month. I don't charge them one cent. I would do the build, build a bridge for bridge the two property together, you understand? Not one cent, I ain't charge them. They're using my flat ramp, you know, I ain't charging them a cent. This is what people just do, you know, I mean, me life is not about money, bro, you know what I mean? You understand? Yeah, and, you know, yes, you're deliberately staying away from the man, you know, just because, you know... You when he said it. deliberately staying away from the man, he's talking about his son. Yes. Because if the Americans hold on for me, Thomas, who was on government business, and takes your fucking passport, takes your phone, and investigate her, and ask her about Azadine Muhammad, who the fuck is me? Who is me? Instructed to, you know, you think people you know what was what game I rushed upon, you know what I mean? Anyway, man, I'll be concerned with, you know what I mean, if you complete my blast you off, you know what I mean, because you think I'm end nice, you know what I mean? You know, I'm getting real upset now, because the sheer nonsense that you're going on with, you know, you know, me want this thing complete, you know, because I don't spend a lot of money on this thing. 
and don't bring in no more equipment and so on, ARD and so on, you know what I mean? You know, I just want you to complete all this thing and then take out everything what you got in the yard so that me can move ahead with my development, you know? So when people want to know what is the problem between me and the Mohammeds, that is the problem. It is envy. The Mohammeds feel that the country should have stood by them when the Americans start investigating them. Dundas Coke tried in the ghetto. A great drug lord from Jamaica. And had a big stand up, big shootout with the, with the Americans. They're going to dig his scunt out in the jail in America right now. The Mohammeds think they could form alliances with poor people who naive through money by giving them things. You understand? You see writer's story, do you know it's only Stabrook News and Garden Mosley? They thought they could control all the media. I didn't come here for the... The Guyanese critic is the fucking Guyanese critic. I didn't come here for the... They thought they would have been able to control all the media. You understand? So since it's out there, I know God I'm going to do what I should have done in the first fucking place. I got to apologize to the Fagundes family and then go and interview them and start go through everything one, one. Because the game the Muhammad's playing is a game that I was born for. I mean, I get money for play because I mean, it's for the back of my head. In recent times, I wasn't saying when they pay everybody, the pain, smelly smell, the pain. Who of any upstanding character background would want association smelly smell and daggy and people saying I fuck ass and all these things? Who of any upstanding character? What happened is they don't realize they're the imprisoning Guyana. They have nowhere to go. And they upset because they thought people in high places would have come and support them and said, no man, we stand with these people. When the Americans are ready for you, they will carry you and any fucking body with you. Out to me whole family. Me is the only fucking Harry Lyle one. You understand? Me is the only Harry Lyle one. Well viewers and subscribers, paper shards has been trending in Guyana recently because everything flashed back with the interview that Guyanese critics did where he's accusing Mohammed of paying off people and who he pay off he got to be the commissioner he got to be someone real big in the police force make camera disappear then give a three million dollar for two a man one million dollar work and then burn up the vehicle so there's a whole lot of information Guyanese critics is exposing so he is trying to solve this high profile murder that the Guyanese police force couldn't solve this influencer is going to solve it he's going to bring the family of paper shark to do an interview he's going to bring roger Khan a whole host of things this problem is eh, critics if you're watching this video stay out and do your thing anonymously that this is serious 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 thing according to what you're saying because if the car could get burned up, if camera could disappear, if all this could happen, why you want to get involved in this? Well, no. Remember, according to Guyanese critics, bridges have to burn. And he's going to help burn bridges. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to solve the one of the most high-profile murder in the capital city of Georgetown. So check out this video with Guyanese critics explaining always going to go about and solve this very 
serious incident that the guy in the police force will get pay off could not do. A newsman, a influencer, slash contractor, slash roadman is going to do it. This is very dangerous for guy in his critics. Check out this video and then we are going to continue. Make sure you subscribe to Guyanese News for breaking and trending Guyanese content.